On June 10th, Alice Martin tweeted, I want to go to a church where atheists aren't pressured to change. What's that called? This tweet came to my attention because, as a denomination researcher, I follow the account of the United Church of Christ, and they liked the tweet. Which would make sense because one of the most recommended denominations in the responses to Alice's tweet was the UCC. Let's think about what this tweet implies about the kind of church Alice is looking for. Most churches would be happy to have atheists attend, but if a church never tries to change them, we would have to assume that such a church doesn't believe that an atheist would go to an eternal hell. Take it from atheist Penn Gillette, who spoke favorably about someone trying to proselytize him. I don't respect that at all. If you believe that there's a heaven and hell and people could be going to hell or not getting eternal life or whatever, and you think that it's not really worth telling them this because it would make it socially awkward and atheists who think that people shouldn't proselytize, just leave me alone, keep your religion to yourself, how much do you have to hate somebody not to proselytize? How much do you have to hate somebody to believe that everlasting life is possible and not tell them that? If I believed beyond a shadow of a doubt that a truck was coming at you and you didn't believe it and that truck was bearing down on you, there's a certain point where I tackle you and this is more important than that. So we'll take it that Alice wouldn't be looking for a church that believes that atheists go to an eternal hell and is happy to just leave them atheists to their own demise. More likely, Alice believes that atheists will end up just fine and wants a church that affirms that too. When Micah Murray asked, as an atheist, what are you hoping to get from going to church? Alice clarified that she isn't an atheist, but considers herself a Christian. So with that in mind, the UCC does have a lot of churches that fit the bill. When members were polled in the 2014 Pew Religious Landscape Study, a higher percentage, 46%, disbelieved in hell than the 44% who believed in it. Cynthia Robinson, pastor and self-described domestic goddess of the New Ark United Church of Christ, suggested her church in response to Alice's tweet. Kevin Johnson, who co-pastors Bloom in the Desert UCC with his husband, suggested his church. Another UCC pastor, Leah Roberts Mosser, suggested her church, as did the pastor of Medina UCC. Several others also recommended UCC. Middle Church responded to the tweet saying that they have many atheists and people of other faiths and would never ask them to change. Their website similarly says, our members are Buddhist, Muslim, Jewish, atheist or agnostic, and Christians of every denomination and creed. What unites us? Commitment to this movement for love and justice. The only thing we're missing is you. Middle Church is a dual affiliated church with the UCC and Reformed Church in America. Disciples of Christ was another denomination represented in the Twitter thread. Israel Hoag recommended his church, Simplicity Church in Oklahoma City, tagging them in the tweet. The church responded saying that even one of our board members describes himself as intellectually agnostic. Simplicity Church participates as a Disciples of Christ congregation. Roland Jong suggested another Disciples congregation, Root and Branch Church in Chicago. Holly Stalcup recommended her church as another one that won't try to proselytize an atheist. She's the Minister of Hospitality at Bread Fellowship in Fort Worth, Texas. Bread Fellowship is in alignment with the Cooperative Baptist Fellowship. Chaplain John, who belongs to an American Baptist Church's USA church, said, My church has a lot of Buddhists, spiritualists, atheists, and we're Baptist. Mia M. McLean, Associate Minister of Faith Formation and Outreach at Myers Park Baptist Church said, We have atheists at my church. They come for whatever reason they come, and we let them be who they are and affirm that. Myers Park Baptist famously was ejected from the Baptist State Convention of North Carolina, a Southern Baptist Convention affiliated state convention, and is now also an American Baptist Church's USA church. Heather King said her church, Zhao MKE Church, a United Methodist church in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, is like this. The church is pastored by Jonah Overton and his trans spouse, Cameron. Joel Talbert suggested the church he pastors, Presbyterian Church of Chestertown, a church that is part of the Presbyterian Church USA. In the Episcopal Church, the 2014 Pew Research poll showed 46% disbelieve in hell to 42% who believe, and so they too received some recommendations. Some others recommended the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, including a suggestion for Humble Walk Church, an ELCA congregation in Minneapolis. Unitarians, where the numbers are 84% who disbelieve in hell to 6% believing, were the most common recommendation among respondents to Alice's tweet. The Unitarian Universalist Association was at one time considered Christian, but no longer considers itself that, and is open to people of all beliefs, including atheists. There are over 1,000 congregations of UUs worldwide. Caleb Rowe is a pastor at one of the locations of Revolution Church, a progressive church founded by Jay Baker, the son of televangelists Jim and Tammy Fay Baker. 
He recommended the church, where most members attend online, saying they even had an atheist give the Sunday talk. There were several recommendations for Quakers. Quakers today are very open to non-theists, and there are even Quaker meetings that are for that demographic, such as the Non-Theist Friends Network and nontheistfriends.org, which says, nontheistfriends.org presents the work of friends known as Quakers who are more concerned with the natural than the supernatural. Some of us understand God as a symbol of human values, and some of us avoid the concept while accepting it as significant to others. We differ greatly in our religious experience and in the meaning we give religious terms. There were a few recommendations for Sunday Assembly, which has around 45 congregations worldwide. The first three points of their charter are, Sunday Assembly is 100% celebration of life. We are born from nothing and go to nothing. Let's enjoy it together. Has no doctrine. We have no set texts, so we can make use of wisdom from all sources. Has no deity. We don't do supernatural, but we also won't tell you you're wrong if you do. Their website describes them where people sing songs, hear inspiring talks, and create community together in a family-friendly and inclusive setting. Ethical societies were recommended. There are 28 of them, and they consider themselves a part of a humanist movement. Their website describes their meetings. Ethical societies meet regularly on Sundays for gatherings we refer to as platforms, also known as Sunday meetings, Sunday program, or platform services. Platforms usually consist of a welcoming by a member, music, and talk by an ethical culture leader, invited guest, or layperson. These gatherings are intended to educate, stimulate personal growth, inspire reflection and action, and build a sense of community. The Satanic Temple also came up. Their fundamental tenets include the statement that beliefs should conform to one's best scientific understanding of the world. One should take care never to distort scientific facts to fit one's beliefs. TST is a non-theistic group that doesn't believe in a literal devil and lists 30 chapters on their website. In the end, Alice collected the suggestions and intends to visit a Unitarian Universalist congregation and then muted the Twitter thread, which became rather popular. But from her question, we can get a glimpse into a subsection of religion in America today, churches where atheists aren't pressured to change.